This is Peter's mom doing a little journal entry. Um, I wanted to give an example of just a journal entry that includes a local, at least one or two things in the local arena, national arena, world arena, and intergalactic arena. And so I'm going to start out with some of the bad news and then we'll move on to the good news. So pardon my poor filming, but we're going to go over to this one that is an America, a piece of art about America. Um, and goodness gracious, our Senate today killed a bill that was talking about taking care of vet, uh, vets who um, work for us, put their lives at stake for us, and have been the recipients of lots of fumes and experimental projects over the years. And generally, we've promised them healthcare. And my understanding is a few people in the Senate have just come forward and killed a bill. And that is super messed up. So let's get better about that. Um, so that's a little bit about the local news. Let's get better. Um, super local. Future fashion is kind of a fascinating thing to me. And um, what is your future fashion? Is it made from recycled and organic and fair trade things? <laughs> is it made from a system that takes care of its employees? And where the people making it all live and this sort of thing. And um, is there armor in it? It's kind of a legitimate discussion these days. So what kind of armor do you wear? Do you wear a spiritual amulet? Do you wear steel clocks around your neck? Um, all of it is, is future fashion. I've also heard some fun, fantastic ideas about like a waste products being used to do these spray and mold type of shirts and uni, uni suits and so on. So kind of exciting. And we're doing a local event here in Colorado for future fashion and um, to celebrate women's equity event, which is both local, national and international and intergalactic. Yeah, for women's rights and women's voting. And uh, men are invited to celebrate it with us too especially decent men. Um, so let's see, on a, a world level, um, what did we want to mention? Oh, oh, the Pope. Um, the Pope is up in Canada apologizing for some of the uh, atrocities that are related to the doctrine of discovery. And I'll attach some, uh, I'm not trying to endorse anything here, but I, uh, to comment on it and, and do a journal entry. Um, and it's wonderful. I think it's magnificent. The Pope is up there. Um, apologizing for the atrocities that are associated with that doctrine of discovery. And here in the United States, my understanding is we have similar amounts of graves. So it's not to say that we don't have our own graves here, but right now the Pope of the Catholic Church is up apologizing for these things. And it isn't enough, but at least the leadership is apologizing and saying it's wrong. In the process of this happening, I've seen a news report that discusses how the United States Church carries molestation um, insurance and that these insurance folks end up counter suing the mothers or the advocates of the victims often as opposed to trying to institute policies or ther therapies and so on to reduce the need for these cases, to reduce the molestation, which would be the most obvious way to reduce your um, claims adjusters. That's a real obvious thing in insurance. So if that's you out there counter suing the victims of molestation, you need to get a different job or come at it from a different approach or both. Um, anyway, intergalactically, the Arcturian Council has said, hey, Christmas is coming. Merry Christmas. Um, so there, there's just kind of a handful of entries in my journal today from Peta's mom. And so Peta's mom is pro, um, pro animals, pro kid, pro adult, pro all of us really, pro life for reals, like breathing the air, good air, and taking care of our vets. Like that's that's ridiculous that somebody could stand up in front of others and, and kill something like that that is so overarchingly good. Anyway, I don't think our country is F-U-C-K-E-D, but I, I can see how it would appear to be so.